hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see how to make a wireless water level indicator so for that we are using your earlier nano for the transmitter and uh, receiver section and uh, sr04 used uh, for the detecting of the water level you can also use the waterproof version and uh, for the data transmission i am using a 433 MHz rf transmitter and uh, receiver modules so these are uh, very good in from of our range up to 100 or 200 meters of range and for the data uh, printing i am using a i2c display and you can see in this usage is just four wires to display the data on the lcd so for the connection uh, we have to connect the rf modules to the audio nano board and uh, the connection like this uh, here the 5 volt to the 5 volt and uh, ground of the both modules will be common and uh, the data output pin of this 433 megahertz will connect at arduino's uh, digital pin number 2 as i have configured uh, in the coding to use the digital pin number 2 as a rf uh, receiver and uh, now we are connecting this uh, i2c lcd display so for the wiring we connect the ground and uh, 5 volt supply to the respective pins of the audio nano and uh, also connect the sda and uh, scl pin to communicate with this module now this one is the ground pin which will connect at uh, audio nano ground pin and uh, after this your uh, the black one which is the 5 volt power supply for the lcd which will connect at uh, 5 volt pin of the audio nano and uh, after this here we connect the hda pin to the analog pin number 4 of the audio nano and uh, the scl pin will connect at uh, pin number uh, analog 5 of the arduino now the receiver is uh, completed in this case we have to just power the receiver section with the usb cable and uh, after this we have to make the transmitter side so in this case here i'm using a 433 mega transmitter module so i will connect uh, at uh, the arduino's pin number 5 which is the 5 volt VCC and uh, ground respectively now the connection of this uh, data pin of the transmitter module will also connect at to digital pin number 2 as uh, in the receiver side so in the coding part uh, you can also change the data pin of uh, the transmitter and receiver as your own like uh, you can also use the digital pin number 5 or any other gpio so here uh, you can see the sr04 ultrasonic sensor pin outs and uh, also this will connect uh, at uh, respective uh, ground and uh, 5 volt power supplies and then connect the data pins which is the trigger and uh, eco pin of the sensor to the arduino also now after this year we are connecting the trigger pin which is uh, which will used for uh, transmitting the ultrasonic sensor data so the trigger pin will connect at uh, digital pin number 4 and uh, the eco pin will connect at uh, digital pin number 5 so the transmitter is completed and uh, now we are testing the both transmitter and receiver so uh, I am powering the transmitter module with a uh, 5 volt USB cable as you can see the transmitter LED is blinking very fast as I have set the loop delay just uh, 50 milliseconds that's why it's uh, sending very fast data and uh, now you can see in the receiver side the LCD displays uh, sorry it's a uh, liquid crystal displays displaying the data on the data of the sensor as you can see when i place the hand on the sensor as you pass at the sensor 
so the level as soon is increasing so that way you can use this uh, circuit for the measurement of the water level of the tank and uh, if i remove the transmitter so the receiver will display it's uh, disconnected so it's uh, working very perfectly in this case now let's move on the coding portion to see how the code is working so in this case here uh, this is the transmitter code so for the communication of the 433 megahertz module we need to install the uh, radio head library for the working and uh, we configured the sr04 sensor and also make the uh, height of the tank in the definition and also place the configuration of the transmitter and the receiver digital pin so i have uh, configured the both uh, transmitter and receiver as a uh, digital pin number 2 that's why i am using this and uh, use the conversion formula for converting the distance of the sr04 data to the water level percentage so as same in the receiver code we have used a radio head library for the 433 megahertz module and uh, also included the liquid crystal i2c display for the display and uh, used the wired attach library for communication between the arduino and uh, i2c display so this way the data will receive and store in the water level percentage integer and uh, print according to the received data from the transmitter so that way the whole transmitter and receiver code is working so if you have any doubt uh, regarding this project then you can ask in the comment and uh, also thanks for watching and also subscribe to my channel and also in the next video